Hey guys, welcome back to the program. Welcome back to the D Time Love Show. And today I've got a very interesting video. I'm going to share some of my hobbies and interests. And those of you that followed me from day one know what my channel was about. My love for food, cars, horology, nature, whatever it may be. In no particular order, I've got a passion for cooking, barbecues. I've got a collection of barbecues. I love cooking on grade A restaurant charcoal. From cars, from time to drive. I just have a passion for anything that involves gears, cooking charcoal, nature. But I've always been drawn to the ocean. And today I want to share with you guys my love and passion and hobbies and interests. But it got me thinking, has it got something to do with my DNA? And we'll tell a little story, but let's go through a bit of a highlight reel of my hobbies and interests. And we'll talk about my DNA. What draws me to the sea? Horology, cars and Greek barbecues. As you can see, I have a real passion and love for food, horology, cars, nature. Is it my Greek DNA? One Saturday morning during Greek school, my Vaskalos teacher told me off for messing around with my data bank Casio watch. Every week, I would bring a different timepiece to share amongst my fellow students. I hated Greek school at the time with a passion. Whilst being at school Monday to Friday in the UK, I found myself at Greek school missing morning kids TV. But that day would be a day to remember. My daskalo, my teacher, sat me down. Dimitri, Dimitri. You know why you like this calculator watch? You know why you like to play with these timepieces? It's because it's in your Greek DNA. He went on to say, as I remember it, ancient Greece is accredited with many inventions and discoveries which have been adopted and developed over time. Ancient Greek findings in astronomy geography and mathematics made them pioneers in the world of science which are still revered today. Greek interest in the physical scientific world can be seen in the records as far back to the 6th century BC earning them the title the fathers of science, medicine, zoology and many other areas too. Greeks invented the anchor, a country synonymous with the sea, 
masterful shipbuilding, the first vending machine, but most importantly, from a horological point of view, the solar clock invented by the famous philosopher and teacher of Alexander the Great, Aristotle. The solar clock, one of the first clock known in history, and to this day, aesthetically, very pleasing to the eye. Let's have a look at an example, a replica in Greece. As you can see, the time is shown by the shade. And in the center of the shade, you can see the month. And as you can see, it says 1440, 40 minutes past 2 p.m. And the month of the circle is, sh is showing the month of September. Other inventions include the alarm clock, used to measure time in politics and even used for prostitutes to indicate, yes, when time was up. But most importantly, and that standing in my opinion is the ancient Greek invention which is called the computer. Let's take a closer look at this invention. For me, from a horological standpoint, one of the most important Greek in inventions is the computer. Antikythera is an analog powered Greek computer. It was found in a Roman shipwreck of the coast of the Greek island Antikythera. Scientists believe from its complexity there must have been many different versions made during this Hellenic period. At first glance it looks like rusted gears but when you look at the machine you can see it was made of dozens of gears calibrated and layered like what you come to expect and see from a masterful Swiss made movement. This level of technology was only associated in the 16th century. Scientists have debated what it was used for and many say it was used as a clock, calendar and some sort of calculating device and much much more. Amazing this was what you could say the first mechanical movement with various complications and scientists have done special renders and scans of what this movement this analog computer was like and even Hublot have recreated it in one of their watches what can I say absolutely amazing and this is one of the reasons why I can say I have an addiction of horology of watches so guys I hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video